Alright, Bob Buckley here with a form review. Today I'm breaking down two players that are both on tour right now, Mike Carmen and Dan Brooks Walls. There are also our coaches for Frontline Disc Golf. So, breaking them down and showing them the differences in their throw. I'm not saying either are wrong, I'm just saying they're, di they're different. Um, I'll go through the form once. You can see them side by side and then I'll break it down. Okay, so they both start differently, and that is because Mike has a four step run up and Dan has a three step run up. Dan starts his body off closed. You'll notice that Dan, uh, his entire walk up is in one linear motion, and uh, Mike's got a little bit more movement going on. So, so as Dan starts off with his right foot, or sorry, Dan starts off with his left. No, Dan starts off with his right foot, Mike starts off with his left foot. Have them both in the X step at the same time. Both X steps look good, but you'll notice that Mike's shoulders are pointing upward. It almost looks like he's getting ready to throw uphill. Dan's nice and flat, his hips are flat, and you'll notice that Mike's hips are also pointed as if you're throwing uphill. You'll notice too that as soon as Dan takes his first step, his hand comes off the disc. You'll notice that Mike has his hand on the disc up until he begins, he's almost at his next step before his disc comes off, before his hand comes off the disc. And Mike does a good job of getting his hand down, but a lot of the amateurs that I review have their left hand on that disc, and even though they get their hand down before they reach back, the disc tends to fall with that left hand, which causes people to round. Next thing you'll notice is that about halfway through Mike's reach back. He's about, he's, about, he's about peaked right there, and his foot hasn't touched the ground yet. We're looking at this being fully extended with his foot not on the ground, so his timing looks to be a little off. He's actually fully extended about there, and then he has another like six frames until his foot touches. You'll notice in Dan's form that as soon as his reach back peaks, his reach back is peaked there, and his foot is touching, his front toe is touching the ground. Your reach back should peak as your foot touches the ground. Next thing you'll see is Mike over here. As soon as he he looks up before the disc is out of his hand. He does a good job of getting this elbow out. That's one, another thing we talk about a lot when we're reviewing AMs. Um, but he's already looking at his target. This back shoulder here should be what pushes your chin and turns your head up. You'll notice that Dan on the right doesn't look out until the he doesn't look up until the disc is out of his hand. Disc is out of his hand, and then his head's turning with his back shoulder. And the last thing I want to note is how Mike's movement. So he's moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. And when he steps out, I don't know if it's because his, his X step is so wide or what it is, but so he's moving, he keeps, he's moving forward and then as he steps and he goes to throw, he stands up and you can almost see like a pause in his form. There's all of his movement moving forward and then all of that energy that he has generated from moving forward 
stops and changes direction as he stands up. You'll notice the dam on the right. You can move forward and everything's nice and smooth. I'm just looking through to see if I see anything else. Do either of them make the depth just levitate? I don't think so. Mike kinda has it. The dance doesn't move too much. What I'm looking at is if this disc moves. <clears throat> so the disc is there. It drifts a little bit forward as he moves forward. But as he's reaching back, it still doesn't really move too much until he brings it forward on a whip. You see Mike's. This disc is here. Put my mouse on it. See the disc changed. The disc moved, it didn't really levitate. It didn't really stay in one spot. And that's the difference between using like your muscles to throw the disc and using your arm as a whip. There's a bunch of different ways people say it. Using your arm as a whip or walking around the disc or um, muscling is the other term for what Mike is doing. So yeah, that's all I got. See you next time.